So yeah, it was fucking toilet. We could just put a valve right there, right? And then we just turn it off. And I think that. it just leaks in different spots all the time. No, it just keeps leaking out of that fucking... Fucking the tube is all fucked up. <laughs> but fuck. We have RM water. Nothing should be fucked up. I don't know. Maybe the toilet's fucked up. <laughs> Do you realize you who I got? You did replace this toilet, right? Yeah, I replaced it from somebody. So. Well, it wasn't from the one that you stuck in the bush all summer last year. No, yeah, definitely not. No, that was my sitting toilet. Go on the highway. Well, you find a different <coughs> toilet, and I'll buy you a cushion seat <coughs> that you can sit there forever and ever. We don't need a different. <coughs> we don't need a different toilet for fuck's sakes. <laughs> this is a fine toilet. Doesn't have that dual flush. You know, you sit there and press the wrong button. And okay, what's it... the difference between dual flush and fill the fucking bowl on the floor two times in the night? <laughs> <coughs> Because it does do that. Yeah, it does. Oh, my goodness. Well, where are these sneezes coming from? Yeah, that's a big fucking hole, eh? <laughs> it's like we got, like, fucking mice chewing on my underwear. Uh, there is no mice in the house. <laughs> like it's I not told... bleach. Those aren't bleach burns. I told my mom... She's like, oh, yeah, mice are really bad. <coughs> Dad's caught ten in the basement already. I'm like, yeah, we don't have that many. Not going to have that many. Maybe that's why there's so many fucking snakes. Maybe. When I went to lie in the fucking living room floor to have a nap the other day, because I had all that stereo equipment on the couch, and I was too tired to fucking move it. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason I couldn't sleep on the floor. I was like, oh man, there's going to be a fucking snake slithering. <laughs> the one time I'm lying on the floor. <laughs> and that's when I first moved in too. Oh, like shit. when I told you I first moved in here, got everything set up. I got the shit pump going, got the fucking well going. Did you going. reset the mouse trap out here? I think I might have. Well, it's not set, but it's set off. Yeah, I, I, in it. yeah, I think I reset it. Yeah, something set it off. I don't know, maybe they're that quick. Most traps don't work on them. My mom said the most that you've caught are really, really, really tiny, tiny this year. And like, they're not shrews. She's like, nope. They're not shrews. Nope, she said there's a mice. Because shrews uh, have like a pointed pointy nose. nose yeah. And yeah, yeah, I'm like... On Patricia, we had shrews, but Lady would always fucking kill them. Fuck, she was a fucking pointer for sure. That dog. <laughs> fucking miss that dog. Fucking what a guardian. Oh, fuck, I still just feel fucked up and COVID fucking negative. I still feel like I still have COVID. I know. It Sitting takes a out while. there on the lawn chair in the garden. Uh, yeah, okay. I can't do this. And I'm looking across the valley to the west. I'm like, oh, there comes a fucking rain. Hurry up. Fuck. So it did rain out here. A little bit, yeah. Oh, I just had a couple spick spacks on the window. Just enough to, like. Oh, you could see it on the car. You could see it on the vegetables, but not a whole. Oh my god. We still got a shitload of carrots out there, too. Yeah, what are we gonna do with them? My mom said they're good in the garden until it snows. She's yeah, like, but that's you what put. Termite said too. You could put them in a gunny sack and bury them. I'm like, yeah. Not gunny gonna sack. Happen. Potato sack? No, I'm assuming. Gunny sack? I don't know. <laughs> Gunny sack, that's like a fucking, like, hockey bag, military bag. Gunny sack. Maybe-ish? Maybe-ish? A, den <coughs> a denim bag. Gunny sack, that's Well, I told I her how many potatoes we had, and, like, we have four banana boxes. 
plus another container, plus almost a 50 pound bag in the house. She's like, what the fuck are you going to do with all those potatoes? I'm like, Robin's going to eat potatoes from now till springtime. Sure, why not? I don't care. It's what I eat when I fucking grew up. Potatoes and meatloaf. And KD. Yeah, when I first moved to Brandon, I lived on fucking potatoes. Potatoes and onions. Say you're Ukrainian, I'd say you're a Polak. Mm. A little bit of both. My baba is Polak, my Hikido is Ukrainian. So. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's where you get the onion part from. Oh, yeah, and garlic? And garlic? That's Ukrainian. It's funny how things... Now that I'm on Facebook and on a page that has... Ukrainian shit? Yeah, it's like, oh, well, this isn't right. I'm like, okay, but I don't know what region of Ukraine that they came from. Because it could mean something else. Oh, and that's exactly what somebody told me. They're like, you could come from this region. Tanya doesn't make her pierogi dough the same way you do. Nope, and I'm never going to tell her how. Yeah, no shit, you're not going to, you wouldn't even tell me what the fuck. Well, it's a heavier recipe. It's not like I'm going to be able to read them. So fucking dyslexic. I put it in backwards. You have all the opportunity to read my recipe, but I have a feeling you don't do that to me. No. I don't even look through your phone. I fucking clear everything before I even look at your phone. That's your business? Uh, yeah, but that's not the way it should be. What do you mean? So you want me stirring through your phone? You want me to be that fucking asshole and be like, where were you today? Here, let me look at your phone. Who were you texting? Not asshole, but concerned where I was. What do you mean? Like, oh, okay, was she okay today? Was she in a place she should have been? Or maybe a place I should tell her she shouldn't go to. What do you mean? I've never asked you any of those questions. No, I know, I know. But if something did happen to you and you disappeared, then I'd be worried. But then it's too late, right? What do you mean? Because timeline? If I go disappearing? Whereas if you monitor what I do... Oh, okay, she went to Minnesota. Okay. What did you do in Minnesota? I went to the library, went and got beer, blah, blah, blah. Why would I, I? I still wouldn't be able to track where you are. I'm not that fucking type of person. And you know I'm not that fucking type of person. Like, you could be cheating on me for all I fucking care, and I don't give a fucking shit. But, <laughs> not that you <laughs> cheat on me. Oh, come on, a couple more. <laughs> oh, one more. I'm about to come in my pants. Oh, come on. Hey, oh, oh, that was so good. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, that was good. What did that piss you off? That comment. The cheating part. I trust you enough, but the reason I trust you is because I don't give a fuck what you do. I shouldn't need to give a fuck what you do. Oh, fuck. Right? Like, I go to work, I fucking do my shit. Like, I'll stop at the crystal. You stop at the crystal. I don't ask you why. And I fucking bitch at you for it. Like, imagine what Crystal, like, the chick, is going through right now. Like, how fucked up is that? Now she's working two jobs? Pay and raise bills? How fucked is that? I would have stayed with the fucking bum who worked part-time at fucking... Brandon Plumbing and Heating. 
least I'm he sure he must make good fucking money there too. Yeah, he makes good money when he's working. But they only bring him on, bring him on. Like, you know how many times he gets laid off? They just hire him on as a helper. <sighs> oh, and we got kids together. Oh, well, like, then what the fuck are you doing? Like... Well, okay, like, I don't classify them as having kids together when they have no access to those children. You have no children. Sorry. Yeah, I guess so, eh? You do have a point there. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. But why ask me for advice? Like, I'm not going to give you advice. I, I don't get into people's relationships. I don't, it's none, none yet. Somebody asks you about somebody's relationship, at the end of the day, it's none yet. None yet fucking business. And then, say you do have an opinion on it. What happens at the end of the day? Now your friends start hating you. Okay. Uh, what did I say? Well, you're favoring them over me. What, what the fuck? Fuck. Okay, I'm not being a fucking pawn piece to your fucking little domestic dispute. I'm not being a fucking pawn piece. So the best way to do it is not play chess. Don't play the fucking game. Just keep your fucking P's and Q's to yourself and... Shut the fuck up. <sighs> All the shit. All the shit we've been through. Like, this is pretty crazy. Oh, Steve's Mustang's missing from his driveway. So he sold it. Or took it to Drago's place. And pretended he sold it. Now I can figure that out real quick. I'm sure you could. Fuck. This world has gone fucking completely upside down. And why are we spending all this money on NASA when we could be like fixing our own fucking planet? But all these people, look, hey, we can move an asteroid in case it's about to destroy the world. Yeah, but we don't have fresh water here. Uh -uh. Well, couldn't you send some of these NASA scientists over here to figure out how to get fresh water or how to figure out how to filter that water to make it fresh water? True. But, oh, we're worried about asteroids colliding with the Earth. Yeah, Perfect. If cares. Perfect. If an asteroid collides with the Earth, fucking great. Now we're trying to prevent them? That's what we need right now is a fucking asteroid colliding with Earth. Everyone's going to say it's Armageddon. Well, I thought it was going to be Ukraine and Russia, or U.S. and Russia, or North Korea and their fake nuclear weapons. True. I don't know, it's just a bunch of fucking bullshit. It's just bullshit every day. And look at, since Biden's been in office, look at all the fucking shootings and shit. It's all they talk about on the news. Shooting here, shooting there. With Trump, it was like... Yeah. Not as much as what it is, is now. Anyone has a gun right now? Mind your P's and Q's. Save it for when you need it, because you're going to fucking need it. Your God or my God? My God, of course. Your God. Oh, there's that guy in Bethany that would really like you to go and look and see what he has. Like penis-wise? I have no idea. I could send him a message and ask him. What, has he got a Blaze King? 
<laughs> I don't know what he has for a stove, but... For a stiffy? He keeps texting me, same with that fucking Barbas, uh, Carol. Carol. Go and clean her fucking chimney and be done with it, please. Carol or, uh, Oak Carol. She's like... Oakner, I mean. No, Carol. She's near that guy that you know that has auto body shop. Oh, that old lady with the dog. And the big fat cat. See, yes, it stinks like piss. Piss. And yeah. uh, leather treating equipment. Exactly. She just asked him to make me a fucking belt. Ask him when we go there. Did you hear Quick Dick the other day? When they sent him that play button for 100,000 subscribers? He's like, what the fuck is this? Can't you make me a belt buckle? Oh, yeah. Like, post fuck. it on your bathroom wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Just make me a belt buckle. Oh, okay, no... that's on my bucket list to go see him live. Mm-hmm. For sure. Gotta go see quick. He's only, like, two hours, ten minutes away from here, something like that. Three hours, ten minutes from here. Yeah, he's like at Fulham Lake. That's a little ways away. Yeah, but his tours... Why isn't he doing one in Yorkton? Yorkton's got a good little club there. He does a lot of community centers where alcohol is not involved. But he's always talking about support your local breweries. Oh, guaranteed, guaranteed. Sorry. I'm not paying extra for my local breweries. Unless I get a discount. Sure, we at the pay end. extra for books, <coughs> but. It should be like co op. Neil you know, still the end has of the... that fucking sign up in the lobby. Yeah, I know. I was going gonna... checked it really close for dates. So... I know, I checked it Because already. he has I other ones up already. there that are for September 1st to September 30th. It's like, rip the fuckers down. When I was downloading last week, the beer vendor was in there. Well, that wasn't last week, but the one time I was in there, the beer rep was in there. And I was going to bring that up to Neil. Be like, hey, you still have that sign still up I'm there? I'm thinking that was Coors rep, too. No. But it doesn't matter. Like, sales done. Get rid of the fucking well, sign. Put up the new ones. Well, it'd give the Coors fucking rep a fucking heads up. Be like, they ain't taking our signs down. Why should we give you that deal? And even when I got the last case of beer in Minnedosa, Neil looked at me as if, okay, what you want? It's like, oh. What do you think I want? Bush? Unless you're going to tell me that Kokanee is on sale. And he wouldn't. Yet if we went to Crystal and Brown and Dennis would be like, hey, this is what's on sale. You might uh -huh. like it. Okay. Then I'm going to tear that fucking poster off there. And it'll be like. Okay, you tear it off, baby. Just almost film it. Be like, hey, look. Here's your fucking sign. Because here's Still another up. one. I don't know what it. For Vizzy or something. Oh, fuck that Vizzy shit. But still, September 30th has come and gone. Get rid of the fucking poster. And that one's dated. Yes, it was dated. Well, fuck. I went there on Friday and got beer. I waited like 15 minutes. I rang the bell twice before Neil finally came out. It's like, holy oh, fuck, man. what are you guys doing jerking off in the back? I was so tempted to leave and go down to the other place, but... I wait it. I guess we can take Bill some of his shit. I think we should just start cleaning out that cooler. You want to start doing stuff from the hog barn. Cooler. cooler I want to get this living room fixed up the way we're going to use it. We got to go through that cooler again, though. We will. 
I'm hoping that letter is in there. I'm pretty sure it is. Ugh. But there's certain things out of there I want to fucking document. Like all those union cards. Holy no, no, fuck. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Love you. Love you too. <sighs> fucking Brian and Dar in fucking Alberta right now. Was it Red Deer? Mm -mm. Calgary, I believe. No, it's in between Red Deer and Calgary, I think. Oh, um, I don't know then. Maybe Calgary? I don't fucking know. I Text the map. <laughs> I wouldn't be fucking driving in Calgary. I fucking hate Calgary. Who is it? Deerfoot Trail? Is that the main run there? Holy fuck, that's a nightmare. I'd definitely like to go and search out Lethbridge again. From what I saw in the little bit I drove in. It's a fucking hole in the ground. So cool. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. probably from fucking mining. That's why it's a hole in the you fucking Jimmy ground. You Jimi Hendrix the whole time I was out and about. Yeah, and you didn't. You weren't there to keep me alive, and I, I'm still here. I have fucking Jimi Hendrix. I can't believe you never got a fucking bill for that hotel room. <laughs> Guaranteed, right? Yeah, like that. I ripped the fucking. Threw up all over the fucking floor, floor by the bed and the end table, <laughs> alarm clock, and uh, pulled the toilet paper holder off uh, the bathroom. I was using it as a handle, but <laughs> apparently it wasn't attached properly. And then I went face first into the tile floor or tile wall. And then the next morning, guess who ties my tie? Mm. Our the next door neighbor. <gasps> Our next door neighbor who was invited drove from fucking Manitoba to Saskatchewan. I don't know who this guy was. Anyone here know how to tie a tie? And he comes up. He's like, what room are you in? I'm like, that one right there. Like 202. <laughs> he's just looking at me like. <laughs> That's all the noise I heard us make. <laughs> yeah. So it was you guys last night. I'm going to tie your tie. I won't cinch it because I'm a god's man. <laughs> I don't hate you for last night. <laughs> Fuck, it's better than on the trip on the way back, though. Fuck. 12 hours to get there? What? No, more than that. 18 hours to get there? No. Just over the 12 to get there. Oh, and yeah. And probably uh, we had five 24 plus to get back home. 24 plus, yeah, and then we fucked in the car and everything too. We should have just fucked in that bathroom. We should have just totally fucked in that. We should have just went outside and. No, because then we would have been in jail. Then we would have been in jail. <laughs> Go find a spot in the reeds. Fuck, we should have just fucked in the bathroom instead of the car. At least the car smelled like pussy on the way back. And not like beer. We stopped how many times on the way back? Well, that was brutal. Remember those Mennonites? That was hilarious. I can't even remember where that was. We just got into Saskatchewan, Actually, didn't we? No, it wasn't Saskatchewan. It, we were still Alberta? in Alberta. We were, just, we were just about to leave Alberta. That Mennonite town. And I just opened up the trunk. And... Fuck. Attracting all those little people. Oh, fuck. It was like fear and loathing in Las Vegas. You opened the trunk and there was everything you could imagine in there. Pretty much. Beer, vodka, fucking mushrooms, weed. Fuck. Everything under the rainbow. Fuck. That was a good time. Should have gave that Mennonite kid fucking some mushrooms. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, 
I know what you're doing. Pardon? I know what you're doing. Stop scratching your pussy. Get trying though. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to be funny. <laughs> You're always funny. No, I'm not always funny. You actually cuddled up last night, which bewildered me. <laughs> Like I was going to choke me to Yeah, because you no. finally came to bed for fuck's sake. I told you to come to bed like five fucking times last night. I did come to bed. No, I'm going to sleep in this chair. Hmm. Yeah. Fuck, you're like the Al Bundy of fucking women. You are. <laughs> so Al there, Bundy? Yeah, and then hand out your pants. Have you ever Sorry, seen me? Of- with my hands down my pants? Well, next time you're passed out like that, I'm going to shove <laughs> your hand down your fucking pants. I'm going to take a picture. Al Bundy of women. You're sitting here fucking topless right now. <laughs> and I got underwear on, but... With here, here. several holes? Here, let your me get a nut pee-pee. hanging out. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you see him pop right out of there? <laughs> Fuck, he was ready to come out. <laughs> You want to see if I got any testicular cancer? I think he looks good. I think we're okay. That's a little weird. It looks like I have, like, really bad hernia. <laughs> Doesn't it, though? That is so bad, babe. <laughs> Why, you want the uh, penis you part? Have a squeak. <laughs> I know, the chair <laughs> squeaks. Should I just show him back in? And put the I think out? you should so you don't cut off the circulation. You know, what are you worried about? I haven't had a fucking kid yet, that, as far as I know. Look at how red it is compared to your fucking leg. Oh, it's starting to go numb. Ooh. Do you want me to rub it better? Get the circulation going. Uh, I probably can't help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. Yeah, we're going straight to hell, eh? Yeah, you probably want to put him back in his place. Not. What are you talking about? That's my hernia, like for real. Imagine if I had a hole farther down here. It'd be like just poking right out. Here, ready? You gotta watch. <laughs> I that describe what just happened. What that? It would it look like? <laughs> uh, yeah. Like swallowing a whole dude egg. Uh, yeah. For I don't you know that, that don't is. know what a dude egg is, a dude egg is a bull testicle and swallowing it whole. That's yeah. what my underwear just did to. I'm not swallowing a bull testicle at all. Come on. Doesn't it have like that. It makes you horny when you aphrodisiac thing? Or is that just for guys? You need yeah, a bull it's test? Just for guys. Well, I ain't need a fucking bull testicle. I'm fucking good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm not fucking happening. I think I have COVID again. Yeah, no shit. I think I got fucking bull testicle syndrome. <laughs> well, I definitely don't have that because I don't have balls. Would you suck on my nut if it was poking out through here? Here, look at it. Oh, fuck, she's red, eh? Like, what the hell? No comment? Everything's so funny. Sorry, babe. Hello, Clarice! <laughs> oh, that's your pecker head, though. That's so fun. Like, I just want to be tiny. Uh, I just want to be tiny. <laughs> I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a bedtime. This hole was made there for a reason. Now it's sex out. I still don't know Fuck the lingerie but... shops. I got man this whole penis. There. Is there like a hole this way? Oh, the flap? Yeah, there's a hole there. But I ain't <laughs> putting my dick through that one. That's too much work. I got a hole right there. But the other one's man-made. Man-made? <laughs> really? 
Do you think a man really made underwear? Uh, There's a fucking question. Do you think man really made these underwear? Guaranteed not. No, they don't work. You can see some of my ball sack now. No, look at how hairy you are. Oh, it looks like Ron Jeremy. That is pretty revolting. Doesn't he look like Ron Jeremy, though? Look at that mustache he's got. <laughs> okay, some of these chairs need to be oiled really well. Come on, look, it's the Ron Jeremy mustache. Mm hmm. If that's what you want to think, babe. Well, at least I can grow a beard, but my penis can only grow a tiny mustache. A pedophile mustache, at that. <laughs> Better than nothing, then, right? Um, well, I don't know. He can only keep so much of the smell with him. <sighs> Would you, you have for dinner? Off after a while? Would you have for lunch? Oh, that's what I had for lunch. What? What does that mean? I don't see any mayo in your beard. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> no, that's not mayo. <laughs> that's not mayo. Okay, that's way too much already for tonight. I like pussy. I don't know. Really? I do. Hmm. Interesting. I'm a pussy guy. I'm not an ass guy. Titties. If if I was a titty guy, I'd be all over your titties right now. But I am titties guy. I'm an ass and fucking JJ guy. Quote Oprah on that JJ. It's not my quote. Oprah said it first. Sweet, there's one left. Uh. So tomorrow I get the beats, eh? No, you can wash those skinny fucking carrots if you want them uh, <coughs> Probably fix that shit tank too, eh? Uh. Oh my god, that's so hard to fucking plug in. Oh, the way you got to hang down in there? Yeah, but at least I put the plug in the spot where you could grab it. It takes... It should have been turned upside down. And the flippy things flip this way. So you no, can plug in I'm not way. putting the fucking plug in upside down. That's retarded. You know how many houses I've seen where they... Oh, we're short wire, so we put the plug in upside down. You Not lazy. that your short wire is just, it'd be much easier to plug in and unplug. It's, the plug is facing the correct And then the mothballs is like, oh my god. Is it good? Oh. It doesn't smell like shit now? It just oh. smells like your old cakes? Oh, it stinks so bad. Uh, better than what did it smell like before. But I did get the lid on and back on. On. Oh, I'm more surprised time. you got the lid off. It took me a bit, but... Yeah, I, I thought it was going to take you a while to get the lid off. I'm like, there. he told me I had to do this, <coughs> but I have to do it and get it done before he gets home. Well, yeah. This thing and... After today, I needed a long shower. <coughs> Holy fuck. Oh. Oh my god, you have so much <laughs> red in your beard, so... Oh, and some white. Red and white. I'm not American. Oh, that's Canadian. True Canadian. Red and white in the beard. That's how you know you're a true Canadian. If you can survive a winter, you get a white hair. Oh my god, I must sur survive lots. Yeah. Yeah, you survived a few. You must have walked to school. You didn't take the bus, <laughs> did you? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God, Robin. Ugh. Who's that guy? You cheating on me? With my superhero. Oh. Robin. He's not even superhero. He's just fucking Batman's fucking 
Boy toy. Sidekick. Boy toy. Let me bend over and do what I can with you. Okay, Batman can kill Superman, but Batman's still a faggot. Because he had Robin. Oh. And then he That brought... doesn't sound very right. Uh, go watch... Do you remember the old fucking Batman TV shows? I don't... I don't think I've seen any of them. Oh, okay. Well, we'll start going back and watching some of those. Cause, uh... And why was Robin's package always small? so much smaller than Batman's package? Because he was a sidekick. He couldn't have a big penis. Come on. So he had a big asshole then is what you're saying? No, he had no big nothing. He had no big nothing. He could always rescue Batman when he was in <laughs> trouble. And then Batman would just go fuck him in the ass after. Maybe. Oh my god, my fucking nose. I can hear it in you. Should I do a COVID test right now? Hey, anyone want to listen to what a COVID test sounds like? Do you want me to be on the stick? We tried that. It didn't work. Hey, no, we should, no. We should have done it when you had COVID. Then we could have done it. Oh, my beer. Your beer? My beer. This is a fucking open package. Under the book. What, you're reading Playboy? No, that's a yep. fucking full pack. I was reading Playboy. <laughs> Cook pot fucking magazine? <laughs> On top of the Playboys? Are you kidding me? Okay, for here one note. <laughs> the, oh. No, that one's still sealed. That's the one. So, COVID test. Take that. Are you positive? I am very positive in my life. Well, maybe not too much. But I do know what I want in life, but will it happen? Probably not. Is this shit really going to happen in our lives? Like, I got hopes and dreams and shit, but... Is it really gonna fucking happen at the end of the day? It's almost like believing in God. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. After the last couple of years, I believe that nothing is obtainable. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Nothing is an unobtainable, like, fuck, this is fucked up. You start getting somewhere, and you get stomped on, and this COVID shit really stomped on everything. Yeah. Just for example, but that's just an example. But, you already pulled one out? I did. I thought I was getting somewhere, doing what I was, but... I know, but you're getting stomped on. Like, look at all the shit we had to deal with with all this fucking inspectors. Did you give and... Gord all that money? Well, no, because I told him I, I took 150 from there so I could pay my credit card bills. Payments. As long as he told me that. And I need to send it to him. Where's the little doohickey thing or jiggy? Doohickey or do me thingy? What do you mean? That stand. Oh, it's right there. Oh. I see it. Well, now my nose is dripping. Should I blow my nose first? Yes, definitely when it's running down your fucking face. Ugh. How long is COVID transmissible? My mom and I talked about that today. I'm like, so if I got it on Monday, how long before did I really have, have it? it? I know. She's like, no it was, idea. It took about four days. Because I had it four days before you. And then you came And that's what I told her. I'm like, Robin had it from Thursday till 
Monday, and then I got it on Monday, but it was gone on Thursday. Fun part. Cut up your pee -pee. Uh, you don't. This almost looks like a penis test, eh? They used to do this for STDs. They used to shove There's these like up your no fucking penis. No cotton on that whatsoever. This is what they used to shove up your penis for a fucking STD test. I'm not shitting you. This is what they used. So now we're putting STD tests up our fucking noses, and this isn't gonna be fun. Okay, let's fucking. I'm Where's sorry, that baby. fucking tray? But I'll watch you and laugh. Laugh, thanks. I love you. Oh my god, okay. Where's that fucking stupid thingy? And there's not enough liquids in these anymore. These tests are they're starting to go bad. Yeah, these tests don't have enough liquid in them right now. Maybe that's why you uh, charge a negative then. Shut up. Okay. Okay, so pick a different nostril this time. Whew. Oh, it's like shoving a sword up your fucking face. Oh! Hmm? That was so cool. Woo! Pulled out soon. Thank you! <laughs> Woo! That was a humdinger. I felt that one in the eyeball. Oh, watch this one's gonna come up positive. You better not, because then that means I'm gonna be positive a couple days later. Oh. That one had a burn to it. That fucking test had a burn to it. Wow, and it's really snotty again, too. Like mine? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, do you seen that, eh? I told you. That was okay, so okay. gross. Okay, no, so, we don't want to see it again, Robin. Okay, so I bet oh. you. How much you want to bet? You're positive, guaranteed. Okay, so twenty bucks. I'm gonna say negative then. Yep, I have twenty bucks in the car. Oh, okay, so three drops. <sighs> One, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna leave that right there just in case. Let the test do oh its thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you talking about? You didn't have a fucking toothpick just shoved halfway up your brain. I can't believe I can't, believe, I can't believe you can fucking shove that thing that far up into your brain. Like you're literally tickling your fucking brain there, like Oh, what are you, what are you trying to hide the test results from me? Maybe. Can I get a lighter at least? Maybe. You won't burn me down, will you? There's nothing to light on fire here. So what the fuck does it say? Zero, zero, zero? I'm thinking it was zero. What, so I had to shove that thing all the way up my nose for nothing? Yes, you did. What the fuck? Because only one line is showing up, babe. <laughs> and that's clear. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Hey, if anyone wants a fucking five days off of work, seven days off of work, we got a positive fucking <laughs> test here. <laughs> So if you want a couple days off, we'll fucking mail it to you, but it's going to cost you like $40. Oh, plus, more than plus... that, it's going to cost 20 bucks to send it. Well, I was going to say mailing. Plus mailing. 
Oh, God damn it. Fuck, did that hurt? I don't even like needles, let alone shoving shit up my nose. Fuck. Are we fucking dead yet? You brought two more? Have you ever had wiener water soup? Wiener water soup. <laughs> Uh, I used to cook my hot dogs in the water first and then do the macaroni in it. The craft dinner. Oh my god, one time we loaded a moosement. I cut hot dogs about an inch length and shoved spaghetti in them. Okay. And cooked them for the kids. Never again would I ever do that. What, what happened next? It took so long to cook. The, the ones that were the in the sausage. Yeah. But the kids really liked it. Why is this sausage crunchy? Because you still got teeth, bitch. <laughs> Fuck me, I ain't eating that. Hey, yeah, kids, Quit you want to eat that? Quit touching. What are you talking about? I got a fucking big hole there. You want a big pulled Mr. Peanut out here again? He doesn't want to come out. He no, he doesn't. It's his foreskin. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you gotta squeeze it out like a pimple. And it's really hanging out now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is it time for bed? No. Is it time for us to actually start showing what we're doing? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Guaranteed not. Yeah. This is the best part of this. We need our own fucking channel. <laughs> exactly. I'll make you uncomfortable nuts. <laughs> well, nut. And foreskin. And whatever else is hanging out at that time. Labia? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna double dose this test. Right, did I throw it out already? I did. I'm fucking double dose it. I can just dump the rest of this in there and make sure. I'm gonna change any. Oh, wow. Why is it all <laughs> foamy? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, I don't think that's be good. <gasps> Robin. That's worse than cum. Like, you see that? That's crazy. Well, I guess we'll have to wait till the morning now. <laughs> Since you fucked it up. Fucked what up? I put it everywhere. What time are you getting up in the morning? I don't know. When the sun is red. So like five o'clock. <laughs> Maybe like one or two. I'll wake up thinking it's 11 and be like, It's one? <laughs> Yeah, she probably get it. I have heard that before. Fuck, I work today. I don't give a shit what I do tomorrow. I just want to use the scrub baby carrots. Do you have a fresh toothbrush? Uh, nope. I looked because I was going to switch my toothbrush out. I'm like, oh, had COVID, I should switch it out. Yeah, use your COVID toothbrush to clean carrots and then pickle them. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Think smarter, not dumber. I just want to sleep with you and keep warm. Look at that beat. <laughs> that saggy beat. That's so cute, though. No, it's not cute. It looks ugly as fuck. Oh, no. Looks much better than some of the beats I picked today. That's so fucking weird, I have to admit. Okay, he's going back in there. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Hi! This is who you want to see. Hmm. <laughs> He's it's so Mr. Tiny, Rogers though. Neighborhood. Hi. 
Oh, no, that was Mr. Dress Up with Penny, right? I'm Penny. Hi, how are you? You're so tiny. Yeah, I'm a grower, not a shower. Stop staring at me. No wonder I can't get it up. I'm looking at you. It's not you, I'm talking to him. Um, He keeps staring at me, and no wonder I can't get it up. He keeps staring at me. Just a little bit. (sighs) No wonder the bathtub's so slippery. Yeah. No, I wash all that shit off. Trust me. I know where where I... I'm very specific where I spit. (sighs) I know, because you don't ask me if I'm going to shower after you in the morning. It's like... Okay. You mean after I come in here? No need to shower. You just sit there and bleed for three months. Or three weeks. You're not going there. You're not going there? Nope. You going menopausal on me? Oh, sorry. Did I poke a funny bone with you? It is what I it is. I would do anything for you, babe. What, you want me to reverse the menopausal for you? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> if you can? If awesome. I could, yeah. <laughs> fuck, I'd do anything for you if you could reverse this menopausal. You getting hot flashes now, babe? No, just cold flashes. No, it's like... I don't even know how to explain it. Fuck, it could have been the last of the last, too, eh? You do realize a lot of my friends are a lot older. I've heard this story many a time. Oh, for fuck's sakes. See, then I don't need to repeat. I just need to sit back and watch. And wait for the hot flashes. I'm almost thinking that's what just happened. I don't think it was hot flashes, but... No, you're going to get hot flashes, I'm saying. Well, if I do, then all those tomatoes under a bed should grip in really fast. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Shit, well, you're going to be busy. (laughs) You're going to be busy, and you're going to be sweating balls. I could run around naked and then the balls could run to my legs, right? Balls? You mean boobs? Whatever. The the liquid will run to my legs and I can just keep going. Just take some of those pills right there. <laughs> They're right there. It's funny. No one touches them. I don't even <laughs> like that. touch them. They're right there. <laughs> They're but right you shouldn't there. eat them because they'll make you go crazy. Crazy, no, they don't make you crazy. They just fucking make you do fucking weirdo shit. And it's like crazy. And that's over the counter shit. Like, <laughs> anybody want legal meth? Can you <laughs> buy over the counter? Hey, anyone remember triple X's? Hey, if you're in the trucker game, yeah, triple X's or uh, white crosses, they used to call them. Maybe it's different because I'm a fucking Canadian. <laughs> anyone else call them anything else? If anyone's even still listening. Um, always listening, but I don't know. <coughs> <laughs> Yeah, welcome to Saturday. <laughs> and I work today. Holy fuck, what a fucking shit show. I work today too. Yeah, I know, you fucking did the beets. <laughs> and the carrots, and the tomatoes. And I still oh. don't have room for all the fucking tomatoes. 
How full is underneath our bed? Is it just all tomatoes under there? So where are the guns? Oh, they're still under there. The tomatoes are, are at this end of the bed. And the gun is at this side of the bed. So they're not accessible. Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. As long as they're accessible. I took out all the ripe ones and I had like three or four pounds. Yeah, how many tomatoes did you eat today? <laughs> okay, so I have a problem. <laughs> a tomato problem? <laughs> I do have a tomato problem. You're addicted to tomatoes. I am. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, babe. Oh, fuck. (laughs) I'll have to send you to catch up fucking rehab. (laughs) Why are you here? To catch up. (laughs) Yeah, catch up on life. I'm addicted to tomatoes. What? I was so thinking of that all day today. I'm like, okay, the tomatoes. I'm going to eat another tomato. Yeah, I'm going to eat another tomato. Yeah. 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 Fuck, you don't want to... You know what? What the hell? I'll eat another fucking tomato. Apparently, I'm a tomato junkie. (laughs) I'm sorry, babe. I am. (laughs) Imagine if you smoked crack cocaine, what would happen to you? (laughs) I'd be uh, dead. You'd fucking be dead in a week, or you'd lose a. Sh- you'd be on a crack diet. Uh, pretty much. Like, oh, how'd you lose all that weight? Well, I was doing that herbal magic shit for a bit, spending two thousand dollars, and then, you know, I started smoking crack for three weeks, and holy Woo-hoo! shit! Look, that cost me the same amount as the herbal magic, and I lost twice the weight, three times the weight. I was skinny as fuck. Oh my god. Herbal magic or the crack diet? Holy fuck, babe. I hope that was your stomach. Guaranteed. Fuck. <laughs> meow. Meow. No, I didn't feed the farm cats tonight, so they're going to be all pissy tomorrow fighting each other. They're right at the host today, maybe? Yeah, they were. Or yesterday. No, that was this morning. They're all fucking following me around. I fed you last night. I feed you once a day. Good luck. If I feed them in the morning, they ain't going to go hunt. I feed you at night. And then in the morning you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm hungry. I, well, yeah. then go fucking hunt. Like, two's the only one I think is eating everything. Elmo kills shit, won't eat it. And I swear he's deaf because he's getting louder. Yeah, he was at the host the other day. I'm Just like, screaming oh like God. a fucking banshee. Holy fuck, I think he's deaf. But I think he's been deaf for a, a while. long time, yeah. He's just faking it. Now that Sophie's gone, he's gonna fucking speak his fucking mind. Oh, it was yesterday. It's like, get out of the fucking flower bed. You're killing the flowers. Mm -hmm. He, like, looks at me as if... Yeah, he sees your lips moving, but he doesn't do anything. I got rid of him and one of the other cats. Must be in red or... I find if you clap, a little bit of a shockwave. If you clap... Makes it... Bang! And then he feels it. That's what gets him up and going. I don't do that to be mean. I don't do it because he's fucking deaf. That flower bed's going to be so fucking full next year. It's not even funny. Cat shit? No, with flowers. I put a lot of fucking flowers in there this year. Oh, and you still have a bunch of irises sitting in the fucking... I'm going to take some to my mom in the springtime and Margie, and then I'll trade my mom for some different colored ones. 
See, that's what I used to do. Fuck, I miss living at my old place. That was a good garden I had. I miss my flower beds. I put snow on the mountain all the way around the deck so you couldn't see under the deck. Oh, nice. It was so nice. It took forever to do it because I did transplant by transplant. Sometimes I try and space them out thinking they would take. No, you get to clump them together in groups. Yeah. You can't just do one plant here, one plant there. You got to plant a group of snow on the mountain to fucking have it take over. We should build a patio up front that we can sit on and still have all our flowers. And... I like to have a patio on the back. <coughs> Move the oven over closer, put patio doors there, or put patio doors in the mudroom. Go out onto the deck. You know what I was thinking? For cold storage, where we have the spices and that that were, and the catnip, mm -hmm. we should have built that right there. Be like right at the fucking house. You're thinking? Well, yeah, we're not going to run to the rail house to get a, oh, let's go get a jar of pickled carrots. Yeah, not going to fucking happen. Old hog barn. Yeah, not going to happen there. I is. can find fucking wood. But here, it's insulated on both sides, right? On two sides. So you use a styrofoam? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Styrofoam there for days. But there's enough there to fucking big, build a big fucking cold storage. Okay, pee fast. Why, you gotta pee? <laughs> yeah, as soon as you stood up, I'm like, yeah. He's gonna fucking piss. And I need to piss. That's how it is. Oh, there it dribbles out. Dribbles out? You want me to stand up and piss all over Does it, right like, now? burn when you pee? No. <laughs> Not at all. Or I'd be like, ooh, ah, 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 ooh, ah, 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 ooh, ee, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. I so need to go to bed, I think. You think? Or is that what your God's telling you? <laughs> go That's to what bed. my God is telling my God. Your God's telling your God. Oh. Or my God is telling your God. Wow, that was a good one. Anyone feel hear that firecracker? <laughs> that was a two-hander, too. I didn't think I would have got her like that. That was close proximity. You don't know how much that hurt. That was a good one, though, I have to admit. That was two-hander. Yeah? Well, at least you're pissing. I really got this. Yeah, I figured so, because you get the look you gave me when I sat down. If eyes could kill, they would have. No, I haven't tried you. And you know where the gun is. <clears throat> well, gun's on. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ching, chang, walla, walla, bang, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ching, chang. No. <laughs> Guaranteed not. Rip rum. So do you want me to make you an appointment to get this trimmed? Fuck no. Fuck off. 
You said you wanted to go see the person in Minnedosa. No. <laughs> <laughs> you lied to me then. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not shaving <laughs> this fucking thing off. <laughs> if anyone's gonna shave it, it's gonna be me. And I'm good at it too. <laughs> Trust me, I'm fucking really good at it. I don't need to fucking... So you wake up and there's a little... If anything, <laughs> you just... I'll go to that barber and be like, right here. <laughs> and for you that can't see what's happening, I'm pointing at my nostrils. That's what I'm going to have my, what trimmed. Yeah, I'm going to fucking have my nostrils trimmed. Like, you can't tell what my beard hair is and my nostril hair is you now. You can't even see your fucking mouth with, you can't, nostril hairs don't matter, it's the Hair here. Yeah. It's like, I, where's the mouth? Where's the mouth? Where's the mouth? Yeah, no, and I can't eat soup either without <laughs> using like 50,000 napkins. Every soup is. Every slurp of soup. I'm gonna only guarantee you two napkins, and then if you can't do it, fuck you, don't eat any more the, soup. That's why I go to the Crystal Hotel. It doesn't matter what you look like when you're eating, <laughs> you can look like a beast when you're eating. Doesn't matter. Did you eat there today? Did I eat there? No, I didn't eat there today. I just stopped there. Stopped there for like 45 minutes. And then everyone's like, here for the fucking Chase the Ace. And I'm like, <laughs> it's Chase the Ace today? I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm having one more beer and I'm getting the fuck out of here. Because if it's Chase the Ace, I'd have to stay with termite. Was termite there? Not when I fucking left. Oh my god. But it's almost 4k. Is that JCA's? I ain't going next weekend. If you don't want to go, I don't care. No, I fucking don't care. Don't go I'll come far. with you, but. We're gonna have to show up right on fucking D Day. I always show up on D Day. I didn't show up on D Day. I showed up like an hour and a half before it. I was like, fuck that shit. I ain't sticking around. Even the bartender chick, what's her name? Mm, it starts with an E. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, that's great. I can't remember your bartender's name either. I'm just bad with names. Oh. You're not sticking around for the Chase the Ace? No. No, because last time I saw it, your brother got to pick. So, there you go. No. Well, maybe it could be us. Oh, you got the red card. Well, you got, better have good sleight of hand. I just want to run away with you and just... Disappear to Mexico? Enjoy us. Mexico. Disappear for Mexico. If we win the lottery, disappear to Mexico for two years. Yes. If we're still alive. After I'll we make leave sure Mexico. you're... Well, no. You don't know me. I'm going to be taking you places. You're going to be like, I ain't doing that. <laughs> Come on, go jump into that fucking... Go cliff diving into that hole there. I ain't jumping into there. You're there. not even going to get me up to that point. <laughs> no, you walk up this hill, and then you come up to this cliff. You don't even realize... I'm not going to even walk up the cliff. The hole looks about this big. Up from up top. It doesn't matter where you jump. There's no way you're missing that fucking hole. You're that high up. You could try and fucking hit the rocks if you wanted to. Can I to. wear a life jacket? <laughs> yeah, you could wear a life jacket, but I'm saying if even you went feet first, you're still going like probably 10, 15 feet deep. Toes feet. I dived into it the second time. After watching that fat fucker fucking dive in there. You guys, you, trust me. And he went head first into it. He's like, it's safe. You're not going to touch the bottom. 
I'm like, okay. So I went I went next after him. Yeah. Went feet first and yeah, sure as fuck. I tried to touch the bottom. Never yeah. touched the bottom. And what's funny is you could see all the fucking little tiny fish, like minnows, <laughs> swimming and there's like a, <laughs> a little pond after the jump. And then it goes into a waterfall after and all these little fish. That was pretty cool. Holy fuck, excuse you. The dune buggy rides up there are fucking pretty cool though. And for them to just let me drive the dune buggies away, that was so funny. Do you know where you're going? Nope. <laughs> no, it was pretty good. Big G was more wasted than I was. He was drinking at 10 o'clock in the morning. We didn't leave until like 1. I don't think I started drinking until we got there. I was the one in lead and Big G was following me. But it was funny. Somebody hit an iguana. Not a iguana. Um... Chameleon? No, uh... Himo, oh, himo lizard, oh, fuck, what is it? Himo dragon, something like that. It's not the poisonous one, but somebody hit, and they told us straight when, from when we left, like, dude, if you see wildlife, it doesn't matter. Do not hit it. Somebody hit it. Like, oh, great. That just fucked everything up. <laughs> Or the French couple fucking destroyed that fucking side by side in front of us. Mm. And then he just let us go back. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, man. I remember the credit card bill. That was so funny. Well, you signed the waiver. You're responsible for what you damaged or destroyed. And what's funny is we didn't have a credit card. And the guy, okay, the guy who took us there, a friend of mine, he took us there, Juan. He's like, they don't have a credit card. And he's like, they don't have a credit card. He's like, don't worry, he's not stupid. No. And he let us go without a credit card, and it was the guy in front of us that crashed into the fucking the tour guide. Oh my god. So not only did he destroy the fucking vehicle he was driving, he destroyed the fucking <laughs> vehicle that the tour guide was driving. Hmm. He had a credit card. Yeah. I told you about those two jet skiers that crashed into... These guys, they talked about it for days. Like, oh yeah, we rented two jet skis. We're gonna have fucking ball, blah, blah, blah. Me and fucking Taco were sitting on the beach, sitting there just talking, and then Taco's like, there they are. Those two guys with the jet skis. And you can hear them. Wham, 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 wham. And just a funny sound, like, you knew something was about to happen. Those two jet skis are, like, surround sound from right to left. Boom! Straight into each other. That was fucking hilarious. They came, they came and rescued the sinking jet ski before they came and rescued the other guy. That was so funny. How much would it cost to have a jet ski fucking shifted to Canada? And this is right when that oil turned down was. It's before Fort Mac. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he ended up paying 16k. 
16k for those fucking jet skis. And you know in Mexico, they don't give a fuck. They're just going to patch it up however they can. They're just going to look up Blue Book Value. What you did. <laughs>